down by Memorial Park. Historic Bowman Field for the Little League Classic when the Pittsburgh Pirates will be taking against the Chicago Cubs. Good afternoon, everybody. And today marks the annual Grand Slam Parade. This is the fourth year I'm doing this as a vlog. And today, like I said, is the Grand Slam Parade, which opens the Little League World Series that's going to be kicking off tomorrow or today depend well usually it would be today when this video is uploaded but you get the idea so i am actually now walking downtown williamsport to my location and it's gonna be a great time i mean look at this a big massive event going on right across from historic bowman field this is actually the birthplace little league field also known as carl stunts field and you're going to get a good view of this because it is the original birthplace for the Little League World Series or Little League Baseball to be precise. And right over there. Even though today, now the main games are right across from South Williamsport. Normally, I don't usually get in there in the parade, but this is where the parade is going to start. From right here in Grier Street and 4th Street all the way down to downtown down to my location i actually got the program for this year i will look at it it's just i'm not gonna do it right now because i'm walking ladies and gentlemen boys and girls the moment is here now coming down through william sports west 4th street on its 15th anniversary the 2019 grand slam parade All the way down there, you can see leading the parade is the Repast Band. Now coming in here is a very iconic Little League team, which is the Little League baseball team dating back to 1969. These are the Newberry All-Stars. This is an interesting mascot right here. Well, the reason why this exists is, and even what you're going to see right there, today, Mar well, this past Thursday marked River Valley Transit Center's 50th anniversary. And that is actually one of the original buses used for the company, together with the Williamsport City Council and the Carl Stunch Trolley. Now, right behind that float, that is Smokey the Bear, as this year, I believe marks his 75th anniversary this year, and just last week, he's coming back to the Macy's, yep, 75, and this upcoming November, he's coming back to the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade as an all-new balloon.
even though I just graduated like two years ago, but it doesn't really matter. Now this is special what's coming up because right behind the cheerleaders we actually have a kind of like a crossover here. Well, I don't know based on the program, but right here there's the Women's Sport Marching Millionaires as they won the tournament events back in 2018. It's crossing over with a band from New York that actually led the parade last year, and now they're come crossing over with William Sports Millionaires. over right there people already the start of division one of the grand slam parade and this year's grand marshal is randy johnson Now before the Little League teams are introduced, we have to introduce to the umpires of this year's Little League World Series. And even their sponsor, Stallion, brought a monster truck with them. Now we're in Division Two and all the way down near Lewisburg is Clyde Peeling's Reptile Land, and we actually got a reptile here. And now we introduce our first team in the international region, the Caribbean. Now we introduce the first United States team from the Southeast. And once again, returning for their second year, representing the Diocese of Scranton, St. Joseph the Worker Parish's Catholic Church, where I'm actually located right now. And this year, the 
Club got a little bit of an expansion I see here to a truck. Leads enter into Division Three with Pennsylvania College of Technology. their annual appearance, the Aqua String Band, all the way down from Philadelphia. American team representing New England. the Backyard Broadcasting Company stations of WZXR, Oldies 93, WILQ with its iconic rooster, and the other Backyard Broadcasting networks including 107.9. And Division 4 is coming right behind them. Next up is the Asia Pacific region, representing the international side, and once again, South Korea is back after last year, even though a different South Korean team, but last year, South Korea not ended up winning the World Series as they lost to the team from Hawaii. Can this team be the world champion? Next is the U.S. team from the Midwest region. Bobby. 
Next up is the iHeart Radio Media, which includes 102.7 KISS FM, Friday 97.7, Rock 94.9, Bill 95 FM, and WRAK. Now we're coming into the Pepsi and Free to Love thing, and I can say about this entire part of the break, food chaos, people! Nothing but sex and sodas going everywhere! Okay, we're now in Division 5, and right now, that is WBRE Eyewitness News. They are broadcasting the event. They also are home for WYU, but it's kind of interesting that not also we got a WBRE and WYU cars, but a WNEP van is in the parking lot right over here. <laughs> Next, in the international side, the Latin American region. You know, the Billtown Blues loves Little League Baseball so much, we wrote a song about it. Here we go. As the Billtown Blues Association comes by, we now enter our next American team from the Great Lakes region. Now here comes something I am pretty excited about. Last year, Hawaii received the U.S. champion, and now let's see if they can do it again. Wise Markets is back again, as you can tell, a big giant cart with the minions, banana, and a race car by all means. Now you got the team from Japan right there, and this is weird because... Reporters run in front of me. 
Oh, so close. So close. So, no thanks, Carolyn. Now this is the Southwest region. Next up is the Northwest team, and from what I heard, the team is from Oregon. If I didn't clarify this, this is like Division 8, and what is that supposed to be? Big foot? The last international team representing is of course the team from Canada. Now, the final band for this um, and high school cheerleaders, to be precise, are the South Williams Sport cheerleaders and marching bands where the Little League World Series takes place. And just this past week, well, earlier this week, the softball Little League team from South Williams Sport were, were the East Regional team for the Softball World Series. And unfortunately, they did not win. Um, I believe it was on Monday um, or Tuesday, I don't remember, but they're representing probably for them because probably the team had, probably is not home yet, but if they did, they would probably end up great, but since I don't think they're not here, um, it kind of su it sucks, but they might participate for next year, I, but I guarantee they're going to do some first catches um, at the World Series when they come back. And now the final Little League team, um, it not just also in the United States, but for the last one in general, is our region, the Mid-Atlantic region, and representing the region is New Jersey this year. Okay, I thought that Division 9 was going to be the last division, and there may be more Little League teams, if I'm correct, but I'm not really sure. I think there is another high school band, but that's thanks to this program, because they did have a couple errors, because they don't show Division 5 or Division 10, and some of the um, um, segments of the parade in the division were out of order, so... Well done, whoever made this. Well done.
This might be nearing the end of the parade because we have the marching band that... I can't remember what it is, but... As you can tell, this is closing the parade. successful parade um, the Sun is going down and this has been probably one of the best vlogs I've done because a lot of the big highlights had went through um, you probably saw with the make-a-wish thing you saw some, the people who saw me on the camera you might recognize them some from the whack vlogs and yeah an actual news reporter from WNEP was standing right next to me so that's by all means to say the least so with that said, I want to thank you guys for watching this parade vlog. For those who are new, you can hit that subscribe button. You can check out the previous parade vlogs and enjoy the next video when that's going to be.